Okay, today we're talking about the greatest common factor. So the goals are today, I want you to know the definition of the greatest common factor, and I also want you to be able to factor a polynomial using the GCF. So first of all, the greatest common factor between two numbers is the largest factor that they have in common. So one good way to find this number is just to go ahead and write the factors of both numbers and find the largest one that appears in both. So if we're looking for the greatest common factor of 12 and 8, we're going to write all the factors of 12. So we have 1 and 12, because 1 times 12 is 12, 2 times 6, and 3 times 4. Now let's write our factors of 8. We have 1 and 8 and 2 and 4. Now we're going to look and we're going to see what is the greatest number that they have in common. So the greatest common factor of 12 and 8 is 4. Okay, now let's practice. This time we're going to be practicing with a polynomial. It's going to work exactly the same way. So now I'm going to look. I have 6v squared plus 3v. First I'm going to look at the numbers. 6 and 3. What's the largest number that's in common with both? Well, 3. So I'm going to be taking out a 3. Now I have v squared and v. Now what's common in both terms? There's a single v that's in common with both terms. Now what's 6 divided by 3? It's going to leave me 2. Now what's v squared divided by v? It's going to leave me with v. Now what's 3v divided by 3v? Plus 1. If I want to check and see if that's correct, 3v times 2v will give me 6v squared. 3v times a positive 1 will give me a positive 3v. So my factorization was correct. Now let's look at this one. This one looks a little a little confusing, but it's not so bad. We're just going to take it step by step. I have 4a to the 5th plus 8a cubed minus 2a squared. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my numbers. I have 4, 8, and 2. What's the largest number, if any, that's in common with each term? 2. So I'm going to factor out a 2. Now I'm going to look at my variables. I have a to the fifth, a cubed, and a squared. Now what's the greatest number of variables that I have in common in each term? That's right. a squared is the largest amount that I have in common with all three of my terms. So I'm also going to factor out an a squared. Now there's a couple of ways you can look at this. You can say, okay, what's 4 divided by 2? Well, that gives you 2. What's a to the 5th divided by a squared? Well, that's going to give you a to the 3rd. What's 8 divided by 2? 4. And what's a cubed divided by a squared? It's just going to leave you with an a. Now what's negative? 2a squared divided by a positive 2a squared. Well, anything over itself is 1, but it's a negative over a positive, so I know I'm going to have negative 1. Now that's my factorization. Now the other thing, or other way you can look at it is you can say, okay, 2a squared times what gives me 4a to the fifth? 2a squared times what gives me 8a cubed? 2a squared times what 
gives me negative 2a squared. Now remember, you can always go back and check these just by distributing. That gives you 2a squared times 2a cubed. That gives you 4a to the fifth. 2a squared times a positive 4a. That gives you a positive 8a cubed. And 2a times negative 1 gives you, I'm sorry, 2a squared times negative 1 gives you a negative 2a squared. So when I redistribute, I get what I started with, so I know my answer is correct.